We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. And when I tell you, honey, Twitter has been left in shambles this morning, okay? Make sure y'all have y'all's tea cups ready, honey, because this tea is what? Piping hot. Y'all, I tell you, I was not ready. You guys demanded that I stop everything I was gonna do today, okay? Y'all wanted me to make a video on the whole Remy Ma, Nicki Minaj situation. When I tell you, I was not ready, okay? So first of all, I wake up and I was like, okay, let me see what's going down on social media. So I get up and I walk my ass to the trending topics and I see Meek Mill, Nicki Minaj, Remy Ma, I see all these names trending on Twitter and I'm like, either somebody done got damn killed or damn ethered to death, okay? And of course, nobody physically got killed, but Nicki Minaj's career just took one of the biggest hits I've ever seen. When I tell you Remy Ma drug Nicki Minaj up and down social media, she literally drug her from damn Twitter to Instagram to Snapchat. Damn it, she drug her all through the damn blogs, through YouTube. I don't know how Nicki Minaj is gonna come back from this because, honey, just listening to that fucking track had me shook. I mean, I was scared and she wasn't even talking about me. Remy Ma went so hard, I couldn't believe it. So if you guys don't know what's going on, okay? What's going on is that basically Remy Ma and Nicki Minaj have been kind of throwing subliminals at each other. It's been a lot of mess going on. A lot of people want me to break it down, okay? So this is how everything started. So Remy Ma had did a video with Young M.A. As we all know, Young M.A. is the girl who sings that ooh wee song. Ooh, that song. So they had did a remix, and people were saying that some of the things that Remy Ma was saying in that remix seemed like she was taking subliminal shots at Nicki Minaj. So then after that, Remy Ma did a remix, and in the remix, Remy Ma said the following. Probably fail my piss test. Get rid of those fake breasts and put a vest on this bitch chest. Yeah. Time that goes right about the caller. That lifeline getting shorter. So when she said that, a lot of folks were like, hold up now, you're throwing shots at Nicki. So then eventually Remy Ma took to Hot 97, and I think she also went on The Breakfast Club, and she basically stated that she had no issues with Nicki. She was proud of Nicki. You know, Nicki's come a long way. This girl never did nothing to me. Any person I ever had a problem with or felt any type of way about, I will have no problem saying your name. I don't want you sitting there wondering if I'm talking about you. So, you know, people are like, okay, well, Remy Ma is not really throwing shots at her. And Remy Ma said that if she had something to say to Nikki, she would call Nikki's name out. She don't do the whole subliminal. All right, cool. So we let everything be. We figured, okay, everything's straight. Remy Ma is not angry. Nicki Minaj would just do her. Well, little Miss Nicki Minaj decided to drop a song yesterday with Gucci Man, and the song was called Make Love. And in that song, she was definitely throwing a lot of subliminal shots at Remy Ma. I want you guys to go ahead and check out a small snippet of that song. Check this out right here. Oh, your career gonna be with Anna Nicole. Oh, oh, you the quickie, the quickie of this here. One platinum plaque. So you guys just heard that in the song, Nicki Minaj says, I'm an iPhone, you the Nokia, everybody knows you jealous, bitch is so clear. Then she also says, ooh, so the queen is right here, one platinum plaque, album flop, bitch wear. So now when she said that, everybody realized that that was a jab because we all know Remy Ma and Fat Joe's song, All The Way Up, um, that came out this past summer went platinum, and that was her first platinum song. So we all knew that that was a jab at Remy. So when Remy heard this, honey, she took to Instagram last night and she started laughing like a damn wild woman, honey. You would have thought she was possessed the way she was laughing. Check this out. <laughs> All right, now y'all heard that damn crazy ass laugh. So when I heard Remy Ma laughing like that, I'm like, something ain't cleaning the buttermilk. This bitch got something up her damn sleeve. Now, I wasn't expecting this shit, but I knew that she had something up her sleeve. Well, this morning, literally not even 48 hours after Nicki Minaj dropped that track with Gucci Man, not even mentioning Remy Ma's voice, just throwing some subliminal shots, Remy Ma decided to drop Sheether. Yes, bitch, Sheether, the female version of Ether, okay? Sip on that shit real quick. Damn, this tea's good. Like I told y'all on Twitter, 
Okay, when I heard that song, I was just in shock. Like my eyes and my mouth kept getting wider and wider as the song went on. Like I started off just, you know, sipping slow, like. <laughs> it was insane. I could not believe the words that were coming out of Remy's mouth. Remy Ma was so disrespectful, but she kept everything factual and 100. I wasn't ready, so I know damn well Nicki Minaj was not ready for that shit, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just break down some of the lyrics that like really, really got to me that I heard Remy Ma spit. I was just so shook, okay? So when Remy Ma says, talking about bringing knives to a fight with guns when the only shot you ever took was in your buns, when she said that, I fell the hell out. She also caught out Nicki Minaj by saying that she basically smashed everybody in the industry from damn Trey songs to Ebro in the morning from Hot 97. Remy Ma straight up put it out there. And then on top of that, she talked about how Meek Mill told her at the All-Star game that Nicki Minaj's ass dropped because I guess she has butt implants and the butt implants popped and she could not have sex with, you know, Meek Mill for three months. So Remy Ma was like, okay, well, did she, you know, give you dumb? What did she do? And Meek Mill was basically like nothing. They didn't have threesomes. She didn't allow her, you know, she didn't do a menage. She didn't do shit. She said at that point in time, she knew that Nicki Minaj was a bum ass bitch. I was like, wow, these rhymes were just straight ruthless, okay? Then she started talking about Nicki Minaj's Ghost Rider and how Safari Ghost wrote for her, Drake, Tunchi. Then she goes, call me Remy Belushi, I'm a Ghostbuster bitch. I was like, damn! But I think one of my favorite parts is when she talked about the whole numbers thing. She was like, stop talking about numbers and sales. You're in a 360 deal. And she basically broke down what Nicki Minaj gets and how basically there's five people who eat even before Nicki Minaj ever sees her money. And Remy Ma says she's independent. And for Nicki to even get as much money as she gets off of one hit, she has to make at least 10 hits because so many people have their hands in the pot with Nicki Minaj's career. So Remy Ma really broke that down. But I think the part that honestly snatched my damn wig off my head, honey, is when she got to going in on Jelani. When she talked about Nicki Minaj's pedophile brother. Because as we all know, a lot of people are not talking about that. A lot of people are keeping it hush hush. I've spoken about it on this channel. But I've never heard another celebrity address this situation. It's been very hush-hush in the industry. And when Remy Ma spilled the damn tea on that shit, baby, I almost had a damn heart attack, okay? Remy Ma says, you thought you could fuck with me? By far, Remy sick. Meek, Drake, Safari, I see men in your pants. We call that Jelani, get it? Semen in your pants. no chill whatso damn ever honey Whew. let me adjust my shirt and sit up Whew. when I tell you that was one of the most vicious rhymes from start to finish Remy Ma went crazy on Nicki Minaj that is some shit that this bitch been writing for months I refuse to believe she came up with that shit in 48 hours that was some shit she had in her vault. In the event Nicki Minaj fucks up and pushes her, she's gonna go there. Remy Ma was ready, honey. Within 48 hours, she dropped that shit. Nah, uh-uh. Remy Ma, you been working on that shit. You knew what you was doing. That was off the hook. And I love the fact that it's the women bringing back the rap. It's the women bringing back the bars. You know what I'm saying? All these dudes in the rap game don't do nothing but get on social media, get on Twitter and Instagram, and talk about Dracos and beefing with each other and jumping each other and all that foolishness. What? What's up, play on me? What's up, play on me? What's up, what's up, play on me? Don't make me spoil me. Remy Ma brought it back to what hip hop is about, which is bars, which is lyrics, which is about talking about people and keeping it factual, not just making up random shit, not talking about Rolexes and bling bling. She brought it back to the essence and for that bitch, kudos to you, okay? I mean, she did the damn thing. I was not expecting that. You know, like my edges like literally started bleeding after I listened to that shit. I was just like, what the fuck is all this red shit coming out my scalp? ready <laughs> and neither was the damn internet i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the comments the tweets honey what folks have to say on social media people are currently going crazy when i tell you twitter right now is in shambles the entire trended topic is literally dedicated to remy ma Nicki minaj drake meek mill loving hip-hop crazy okay check this out i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary <laughs>
you fucking serious right now? Oh, hell. You don't have permission to disrespect me. Are we clear? Hey, what's up? Just gonna give y'all my little two cents off the rip now that I got myself together. Uh, I got respect for Nikki. Uh, me and Nikki didn't work together. I got respect for Remy. Uh, but no matter what you heard, I ain't never had sex with Nikki. I'm staying out the way. It's hip hop. It's entertainment. I'm a fan of both artists. But like I said, ain't nothing ever went down with me and Nikki. So y'all kill that shit right now. Internet troll the web browser. I'm sorry, you can't get it online without Safari. So as soon as I pull out of my wife, I get a phone call about a situation between two females where shots were fired. The detective Nick Banks has been with the NYPD for four years. Did we ID the body? 34-year-old Onika Tanya Miraj, a.k.a. Nicki Minaj, a well-known hip-hop artist. Did we check her cell phone? The detectives catch their first break. It takes us a little while to figure these types of crimes out, but um, with the evidence that we have, there's no doubt we know exactly who's responsible. The songs dedicated All right, so you guys just saw the comments, the tweets, and what folks had to say. You know, so this whole situation is crazy. When Remy Ma went on to The Breakfast Club or Hot 97, whichever radio station that was, and praised Nicki Minaj and said that she did not have no issues with her and that her rhymes were not talking about her, that if she had something to say, she would say her name. Nicki Minaj should have took that as a warning. She should have realized that, one, Nicki Minaj is an industry rapper. You know, they basically made this woman. They helped, you know, basically prepackage her and make her into a Barbie, make her appeal to kids. You're not on the same level as Remy Ma, who is a street rapper from the damn Bronx, okay? Before she ever made it big, Remy Ma was battling, you know what I mean? She was a battle rapper. So that's not even a fair comparison. That is not somebody I would go up against. That's like me trying to fight Layla Ali, okay? Bitch, I can fight, but not like that, you know what I'm saying? So the whole situation is crazy. It's really funny. It's going to be interesting to see how Nicki Minaj responds. She responded earlier today by basically talking about what numbers again and how, you know, she sold more albums. And she even had the nerve to drag Beyonce into this shit, okay? She basically put a clip of Beyonce talking about her being the best female rapper. Go ahead and check out Nicki Minaj's response right here. <laughs> A 
met this girl named Nikki. I guess she could say she was the rap queen. All right, so you guys just saw what Nicki Minaj had to say. Girl, bye. I'm gonna need you to go to the studio and come back with some fire ass shit, okay? Like you said in past interviews, people forget that you have bars and it's just not about you being a Barbie. We need to see that Nicki Minaj. We need the itty bitty piggy Nicki Minaj to come back, okay? I need her to spit some bars. Don't you dare drag Queen Beyonce into this shit, honey. She's at home taking care of herself. Like, why the hell am I getting drugged into this shit? Don't use Beyonce to speak for you, Nicki Minaj. You go to the studio and you drop some hot shit. So that way we can listen to your response to Remy Ma because you have to respond. Like if you don't respond, I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be real disappointed here. Because if you don't respond, your barbs are going to lose faith in you. Because right now they are going crazy trying to defend you on social media. So we need a response. We need a response track. We need to keep this on wax. Strictly hip hop. No drama. No fighting. No shooting. None of that. But I think it's definitely good for the culture. Because we haven't had anything like this in a minute. I think the last, you know, hot beef was the whole Meat Mill and Drake situation. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. What did you guys think about Sheether? What did you guys think about Remy Ma basically snapping? Snatching Nicki Minaj's edges. And then how do you feel about everything in general with the whole subliminals? Do you feel like Nicki Minaj started it? Do you feel like Remy Ma started it? And do you feel like Nicki Minaj will respond back to Remy Ma? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <music>